Yes, what has arrived? I am so excited. My Bamboo Labs new 3D printer has finally arrived. And today I'm gonna to show you an unboxing of the printer as well as all these accessories I got with it. So this is the Bamboo Lab X1 series combo 3D printer which has been a big topic across the 3D printer world these days because of the competitive price point that is offered for the printer and it's comparison to some of the top tier models out there like Prusa and even some people comparing it to an Ultimaker S5 or S7 printer out there just because of how well and fast it prints with multi-materials again at that competitive price point. So I just had to have it and I decided to buy it myself. Uh, this was not given to me. Uh, no sponsorship here. This is just a printer I am excited to have and own and improve my 3D printing business with. Now today I decided to do an unboxing of the printer because I'm guessing that many of you like me are really curious and really want to buy one of these printers and want to see what it looks like when you get it and what comes in the box right out of the factory. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I know we're not doing any woodworking today, but uh, this apron really lets me give you guys a good first person point of view while unboxing it. So I'll be wearing it during the unboxing video. Now we'll do the accessories last, uh, but let's go ahead and start with the one we're all most excited for, the 3D printer. It does say fragile on it uh, with glass. I'm hoping when I open it up, it's not broken, but let's go ahead and see. This is the first person point of view, so you guys get to see the entire unboxing from my point of view. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, okay. So right from the top, once you open the box, there's a lot of cushioning and support that I'm very happy about. <laughs> when you pay this much money for something, you wanna make sure it gets you safely. More brackets. I almost feel like I should open up the bottom so I could slide it right out. I think that's a good way to do this. Okay. Okay. There we go. So very well packaged. You can see all the bubble wrap. That actually, I think, was a little bit easier, pulling it right off the top. Um, also, looks like you can pick it up from just a bag. Uh, next time, if I knew what I was doing here. But, let's see how heavy this thing is. I can just pick it right up. Yeah, it's a bit heavy compared to my normal, just like kind of framed uh, 3D printers. Um, so, interesting fact, at the bottom of this box is actually what looks like the PLA I had ordered. Um, so my guess is that this is just some other accessories like the spool holder on top, I'm hoping. Uh, we'll see when we get to it. But, let's get rid of all of this stuff for now. Jeez. <laughs> A lot of packaging. Very secure. Good job, Bamboo Labs on your packaging skills. Let's open this guy up here. I cut it open. Whoa. Guys, when I say that is a pretty frame, it's like carbon, I guess X1 carbon. It looks like carbon on that frame, and maybe it is. Um, that's beautiful. Um, all right, so first impressions right off the bat, let's see. Very well packaged, taped appropriately, so nothing sliding or moving. Things you don't want during shipping because you don't want to get a broken piece and have to ship it back and figure all that out with the company. Nobody ever likes that. On the back, let's see if I can show On the back of it is this um, tube where I'm guessing the filament feeds in. This looks like the connector that connects to the four spool holders. I can see there's an electrical connector in the back there that plugs in. You can connect up to like four of those. So you can have like 16 spools uh, mixed in for 16 colors 
or like um, a support obviously with 15 colors of some sort um, but wow all right let's go ahead there's instructions on the top so we can put these to the side for now these are just our, our spools that I had ordered from they're pretty light maybe these are just samples this is like not a lot like if you look at the spool stuff it's like not a lot on it all I'm guessing this might be a sample pack but and then this is support for PLA Net weight 0.25 kilograms? Jeez, they I might have bought what I thought was gonna be, a, you know, the normal standard spool filament for a very expensive price. Um, I just would have thought it would be comparative from the vendor, but maybe that was a silly thing to do. All right, let's go ahead and peel off some of this tape. So one thing I'm noticing, oh, it works right off. Uh, as I was kind of peeling the tape off, it was like scratching a little bit here and there. Um, but I think that might just be, it just wipes right off, so it's nothing damaging it at least. I don't really have like long nails or anything either. So I don't know where, oh, okay. So the tape was holding this whole top on. Is this the top? This is the top. I don't know the top opens, to be honest. Um, Okay, gotta take the tape off just like that. Really well packaged. I'm guessing I really should listen to the instructions about how to pack this the right way. I don't wanna screw this up. Inside is the filament holder it looks like. I did not notice that. Is that what that is? I don't know. There's a lot going on inside the actual printer. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a better view in a second. So let me just go ahead and get this guy opened up. Everybody loves that noise, right? Open up, pulled out, beautiful glass. I just got my fingerprints all over it. Foam sits right on top. Okay, so the top comes off pretty easily. There's like a tab here. I like that. I'm guessing I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this tape off the bottom here. Just like we did the front. Looks like it's gonna pull the door open again. So just be wary of that. Yep. Okay, door comes right open. Okay, if you pull it from the edge closest, it comes right off. Ah, uh, wow. That is really pretty. I mean, beautiful. Glass top and bottom carbon around all the sides. The quality is there, let me tell you. Like, The quality is 100% in this 3D printer. I love it. Uh, the top, I'm not gonna remove this part. This is the cable that's taped on. That looks pretty important. Let's not mess with that until we need to. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the stuff out from inside of it. This definitely looks like... Oh, I can't, let's be careful with this glass. Okay, come on. There we go. There's a box. Inside the box, within the box, is... Okay, cool. There's a glue stick for the build plate. I actually ordered a second one of these. I never uh, used something like that. I, sometimes I use like um, painter's tape or like paints uh, or um, um, like adhesive spray, but I didn't want to do that with this one. I wanted to do it whatever way they recommended. Um, inside is also Something for the spool holder here. So um, it's definitely like an advanced machine. There's like a lot of, you can see in like the little parts they provide you for the extruder, for the hot end, um, for the scraper, some spare parts, uh, some Allen keys. You normally get that kind of stuff, but it's normally basic, um, you know, like two Allen keys and like, um, this one looks like it has a lot more small piece parts. Uh, which I don't know if that's standard with uh, more expensive 3D printers, but I'm guessing it is. Um, now I know exactly what this guy's for. This is the touch screen um, for the printer. It is pretty. I've never had a touch screen with any of my 3D printers. I've only used like cheaper 3D printers up to this point, so this is pretty nice. That's what was inside this long box. All right, I'm trying to figure out how to get this guy out without damaging anything. Oh, Allen keys. 
Read the instructions, people, before you break it like I almost did. Jeez. All right. That's what this Allen key's for. So, it says that these are the Allen key spots, I guess. You're supposed to take these out. These little, wherever these like red arrows are. That would have been smart versus me just pulling at this nonstop. I gotta remember that this is like much more expensive than what I'm used to, so I can't just pull it out, break it, and figure out how to fix it after. Wow, <laughs> it came right out. Oh my God. <laughs> that was ridiculous, man. <laughs> it wasn't heavy at all. It was just screwed in. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Looks like there's more Allen keys. I'm happy I know that trick now, so I won't just pull up everything in here. Uh, this guy looks like it just comes right off, I think. There's that. Um, so, all these red arrows, there's even one back here. Um, there is an additional build plate. Um, now, I did pay for more, so I don't know if that comes standard or if that is just like the ones that order that they package exclusively. There we go. This is the bracket they put, I'm guessing mainly for safety. I'm not gonna throw it away just yet because I don't know what I'm doing or if that's the right spot or what. Okay, there's more red arrows once you lift that out of place. There's one here, one here, and one in the back. Those are definitely holding the Z plate down. I am just hoping I don't miss a red arrow in here somewhere. But so far, this is the most this is easily the nicest 3D printer I've ever had. Um, I can't wait to get started printing with it and show you guys about it. So while I'm unscrewing this, there's a, there's a tag in here. Let me rotate this so you guys can read it at the same time. Um, glue stick for build plate warning. Users must use the glue stick to apply adhesive to the build surface uh, before, before the first print. Otherwise, the print may adhere too strongly to the fresh build plate. So the glue stick isn't to help it adhere stronger. It's actually to make it not get stuck to it. So it's like a lubricant. Okay, so let's put the glass back on top. I think, for now. So, uh, in the back you have the tube. It says to attach a, a bus cable. All right, let's take a look at the AMS. So, here's this guy. It wants us to remove this plastic bag in the AMS spec here. So, I don't know how we get to it. Oh, there we go. So now that this is up here, it wants us to take this tube and plug it in here. Okay. Um, okay, so there's two interfaces here. I'm guessing that is how you daisy chain these with other ones. So we're just gonna plug it into one of them up there and plug it into the other one down here. Okay. Okay. Well, there's one under here. This one plugs in like that. So we're just removing the one screw they already had in there. They give you longer screws, obviously, and then we're just gonna attach this guy from the back. The problem with this is it like makes it so that you can't um, sit it up against a wall, right? Um, Cause you can now just put a spool back here. I don't know if I like that. It's like, I'd rather have more room for my printers normally. All right guys, I'm sorry, but my main camera for some reason stopped filming halfway through it. I got most of it on the GoPro. I'll still play it with some over, um, some voice over there, but sorry if we're gonna have one camera for a lot of that unboxing. Now, before we go ahead and end this video, cause it's all set up and it's looking great and ready to get started printing with it, let's find out what's in that extra box they sent me. Okay, 
inside are the build plates I asked for. Okay, so the ones they provided in there are, I'm guessing, um, include everybody's. Do not fold. Dual-sided texture PEI plate. There we go. That's like the same one that you have in there. It's textured. Um, I read online some people like the textured look and feel uh, to their prints, and I was like, you know, that's a good point. Sometimes you want that as an option versus the smoothness, I guess. I don't know. So I I grabbed one of those. So I was like, all right, let's get that. Um, support for POA. Okay. Good news. The filament. All of these guys that are really small were just samples sent with the printer. Thank God, because I would have been so upset if I paid um, all that money for like a very small amount. This is the amount that I ordered. This is a support for PLA, full size. Um, one thing I'm really excited about with this printer is when you want uh, a way for the supports to break off easily, using two different materials is the way to go. Some people have like water dissolvable um, filament that's very expensive. This one is like a different material so it'll just break off a lot easier, um, which I've just like always wanted. This is a complete hot end assembly. So when I ordered the printer, I grabbed a few. Um, this one is uh, 0.8 millimeters. I should have a few in here. So I think I got like 2.4s. Um, uh, 0.6, I might even got a 0.2, and then here's the liquid glue. So let's see, so in here is my 0.4, um, and that's like the most common one obviously you, you see these days, um, it's kind of like the sweet spot for 3D printer for a lot of people, so I got two of those. Um, What is this? Glue stick. All right, remember I said I got that glue stick, but I guess it's a reverse glue stick. Big one. Glue stick for the build plate. You know, in case you don't want it to be glued. Um, what is this? Liquid glue. See, now I don't even know what liquid glue does, because I thought glue would stick it to it, but now that instruction said that it just helps it not stick to it, so. Does the liquid glue stick? Does the liquid glue not stick? I actually have no idea, I guess, what I bought. You know, when you're like just buying stuff, and you're like, oh, that sounds like a good idea. I don't know. And the last one's a point two. So for like super fine print uh, jobs, um, like I've had to do some like engineering skilled models for some companies. Um, it'll take like a lot longer, but point two, it should be like really clean detail. Um, so now I have all these extra nozzles. Let me just show you real quick why another thing I love about this company. These are all pre-assembled. Um, so you're not like unscrewing and screwing in your nozzles anymore. This will plug right in to their assembly and you just have to plug in the wires and it kind of like snaps in and then you're good to go. It's all like pre-programmed. You don't have to recalibrate. It will calibrate everything for you. I just kind of wanted, with some of the jobs I was getting, I just kind of wanted like a solution that would let me just go, click go, and I wouldn't have to worry about it as much as I've had to, um, just so I could print better stuff. So here it is, here is the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon unboxed. I am pumped, I'm ready to go get started printing. I'm gonna go put this up with the rest of the printers. I hope this video was helpful for you for what you get in the box. And I'll do some other ones if you guys want to show you my first prints and stuff. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.